one of my favorite Marvel movie characters right now, and I'm sure for a lot of people, and that is King T'Challa from Black Panther. What is it that he does to be more confident? What is he doing with his body language, with his speech, but with his character overall and his mindset that we can learn from? Because when I was watching this film, when I was watching very carefully, the first thing that came across to me was this guy oozes confidence. And Chadwick Boseman did an amazing job in acting out the character of King T'Challa, but let's look at how he actually did this. The first thing that I want you to notice is that when it comes to confidence, what you can see from some of the examples I'm gonna show you is that there is no set rule. So this is a five part video series that I've made on my channel. Make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you know when new videos come out where I'm analyzing and looking at the enabling factors that help you to be more confident. So without further ado, let's look at it. When we say we're looking to be confident, what we often actually mean underneath that is that we want the ability to go through whatever challenges we face in life with relative ease. And when we think about confident people, that's what they do. And by that, what we really want and what we really admire is to be able to deal with even the most uncertain situations without second guessing ourselves or coming from a place of doubt rather than assurance. And this is something we see King T'Challa display time and time again. If you look at some of the most challenging parts of the film for the character, you can't help but see that this guy oozes confidence. This coolness, it's not just T'Challa either, it's all of the characters in the film. But if we take a look at the main antagonist, the main villain Killmonger, his confidence is more like the kind that we expect. A bit more aggressive, loud and bold, and it complements the king's ice cool confidence quite nicely. In fact, if we were to compare the two, and I don't think this is by accident, Killmonger's confident displays are like that of a lion, whereas T'Challa's are like that of a panther. Take a look at this clip, for example, and notice these similarities. A panther's movement is always very slow and understated. There's a real grace to it. Even though its steps are light, it's got a very careful walk, and you know that this animal is not to be messed with. And the same is true of T'Challa. Throughout the film, he commands a presence through his walk. It's very regal and it's very graceful, but commanding at the same time. Whereas if you look at Killmonger, he walks with a real swagger, a bravado and a heaviness. Let me give you one example from a scene in the film when Killmonger challenges T'Challa for his place on the throne. And he's not the only one displaying confidence in the scene, it's both of them. There's a few subtle things going on that I want to point out to you. If we come back to movement like I talked about earlier, notice the way that Killmonger, despite being handcuffed as a prisoner, he still walks into the room with confidence. That small touch of expanding his chest outwards, something we all you know, hear about and know about, but he also adds a very subtle head movement that conveys real confidence. And it's this, he tilts his head up very slightly. Now, if we didn't know that he was handcuffed, we might even think that this was the king entering. And if you look carefully, you see him make this head tilt motion upwards a few times. Here, here, and here. Sometimes, people mistakenly believe that confidence is about showing that you're confident, even if you're not. When really, as I mentioned in my last video in this series, It's about being comfortable, even if you're not. Instead of looking around nervously, just watch Killmonger's eyes as he enters the room. He's comfortable. It's as if he's walked into the room many times before, when we know he hasn't. And by doing this, he conveys a sense of authority. He knows what he's doing, and he knows what he believes in. Ultimately, he has conviction. It's as much about your inner game and your inner confidence as it is your external game and your external confidence. And often people focus on the outward displays instead of nailing the internal state as well. Like I mentioned before, confidence is not monolithic. It doesn't always look loud and flashy like Killmonger's displays. It's just one example. It's also about projecting less and being calm 
as you see throughout the scene and the film from the understated coolness of T'Challa. While the rest of the council are bickering at the revelation of this dark secret, he does or says very little. Even though we know he is worried and that he is affected by the truth coming out, he takes it in his stride and he remains calm. He walks back to his throne, sits down and says two words with again simple conviction, I accept your challenge. Even his vocal tone throughout the scene as he talks is fairly relaxed. It doesn't change in volume or pitch too much. He takes his time, which again draws you in. T'Challa, what do you know of this? I accept your challenge. Now let's take it back to you. How could you use the information that I've given you in this video and these examples in your own life? How do you build up that same level of confidence externally and internally without all of the trauma and the drama that these characters go through? Well, it's very simple and actually it's a technique that I've used in this video. It's called modeling. It's basically something used in NLP to reverse engineer success and excellence. You take an individual or person that displays a quality that you admire, that you want to have, and you use them as a rough guide to follow to help you unleash your own excellence. The more experience I accumulate, the more I put myself into new challenging situations, the more relaxed I'm going to be because eventually what happens? Well, the things that were challenging for me at the beginning, like filming a video outside or speaking on a stage or making a cold call, I do them over and over again and so I build up reference points. I know that sometimes people are going to just put the phone down or people are going to waste my time or people are going to look uninterested in the audience. But now that I know to watch out for some of the challenges and some of the things that work well, I've built up the bank of experience that's going to help me to stay confident and relaxed. And King T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman does a, an, again an amazing job at displaying this in the movie. Confidence is not a light switch. It's not something that is always constant. Yes, you can maintain it to a very high level, but guess what? Life is going to happen to you. People close to you may leave. They may die. They may pass away. You might go through and you probably will through massive challenges which affect your confidence in different ways. And in the film, we see how he deals with some of these things. So let's put the focus on you because we can admire Chadwick Boseman and Black Panther all day, but ultimately you're watching this because you want to get more confident. Now I've got a sentence here that I want you to fill in in the comments below or even for your own self in your private notes. And it goes like this. What is it that stops you? If you can find out the disabling factors that stop you from being charismatic and confident, what are they? What stops you? So when I, or when this happens, I react by, I start thinking blank, which makes me, and I become. So let's give you an example here. When I don't do well in my cold calls, I react by worrying. I start thinking I'm a failure, which makes me feel depressed and I become less confident the next time I pick up my phone. So you can see here, there's a very subtle layer of cues of a sequence of habits that happen mentally that affect your external state. And that's what this video and this course is all about, is helping you to build that boundless confidence you've always wanted. So hope you guys enjoy the video, comment down below and make sure you click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you know when new videos come out and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace, Wakanda forever.